McLaren F supercar, here's the math that says it's 5 to 10 years off. It emerged last December that McLaren had built an all-electric test bed for a future F supercar to go along with the English automaker's $1.4 billion investment in electrified powertrains. But as we told you a few weeks ago, McLaren CEO Mike Fluid said that such a car was, as a practical matter, years away from production. Now CEO Jens Ludman has put some numbers to the carmaker's quest, saying the Senna has 800 PS, further stalk, on 1,200 kilograms. That's about the power to weight that we are looking for. He's talking about 789 horsepower in a package, lighter than a base Honda Civic Coupe. The issue isn't energy capacity, it's energy density. Said Ludman, the battery technology should achieve 500 watt hours per kilogram. That is a level where it really makes sense. Today we are around 180 watt hours per kilogram. McLaren Engineering provides batteries for Formula E rated at 216 WH slash kg, but those packs aren't suitable for a consumer road car. According to what the companies learned from the battery industry, we are 5 to 10 years away from 500 watt hours per kilogram for a roadworthy vehicle. In 2015 Rimac unveiled a battery it made for the Koenig Segregera. Said to be the most energy dense car battery at the time, it boasted a power two-way ratio of 60 WH slash kg. Figure that the battery industry is adding 40 WH slash kg per year, which gets us from 2015 to Ludman's 180 WH slash kg current state of affairs. Using that measure, we are 8 to 10 years away from 500 WH. McLaren wants its theoretical EV owner to be able to do 30 minutes or 10 hard laps at the track, be as exciting as a 675 LT, and recharge in 30 minutes for another half hour track session. That battery would need exceptionally high energy density, and the cells and electronics would need to stand up to constant high power output and extreme discharge cycles. To enable that with today's battery tech, you'd end up with a vehicle that could do 500 miles in everyday road use, be far too heavy for McLaren's aims, and take far too long to charge. Ludman told Wheels Magazine everything else about the F supercar is all resolved, easy. While we dig in for what could be a lengthy wait, we'll have to be satisfied with the McLaren hybrids that should start showing up in a couple of years. Thank <laughs> you.